Hey everybody, John Burroughs with AlarmSystemStore.com and we're back for another video on the Honeywell Vista series. Uh, this video we're going to be showing you how to add, change, and remove user codes as well as how to set the authority levels on those user codes. Now authority levels, um, you can make somebody a regular user, uh, system master, what have you, but uh, not a lot of people mess with those. Um, but we'll show you how to do it anyway. So we're gonna go back over to the tech room to the Vista on the wall that we were using in the previous videos and show you how it's done. So come on, let's go. All right, folks, here we are at ye old Vista 20P system here on the wall of the uh, tech room. And uh, like I said in the intro there, we're gonna be doing the user codes. Um, very, you know, kind of an important note I like to tell people is uh, when you're programming your codes into a Vista panel, Take a sheet of paper, write down your user slots, user slot 02 through 33, uh, and then write what four digit codes you're putting in what slot. Uh, that's pretty, pretty uh, handy, you know, in, in case in the future you wanna add, remove, delete, you know exactly which codes are in which slots and whose codes are whose. Um, but put that in a safe place, like a safe or somewhere out of the way of prying eyes. Uh, Sl slot two on a Vista system is your master code. Now you want to change that master code from the default because any thief worth his salt will know what the system's default codes are. Um, so be sure you change that one first to a four digit code you can easily remember. Uh, also write that on your sheet. Um, that's what we're going to do first in this video is we're going to change the master code of this system. The default master code of any Vista panel is one, two, three, four. To change that master code, uh, you have to type the master code in first, followed by a sequence of numbers. Now, when you're doing any of these uh, adding, deleting, changing user codes, don't pause between key presses or it will not accept the code. Um, you'll basically have to start all the way over again. Um, so let's go ahead and change the default master code. We enter the default master code first, first which is one, two, three, four, eight to tell it to program, zero, two is the user slot, new four digit code, new four digit code, ding. Um, short ding means you did a good job, it, it took the code. Uh, I went rather quickly because you don't wanna pause. So once again, to recap, to change the, mass, the default master code or any master code you change it to for future, uh, it's the master code, eight to tell it you wanna program, and then zero two for user slot two, the new master code twice. Um, now that we've we've changed that to four three two one, so let's test it out. Four three two one away. So that works. That now is your new master code. Okay. Now um, adding additional user codes. Additional user codes begin at slot three or zero three, um, and work their way down to thirty three. I'm going to add three codes to this system so we can uh, play around with the authority levels. Um, <laughs> now let's say um, I want to make the first user slot, which is 03, we'll put in the master code, 8 to program, 03, and then the new user code. You only have to do that once. The only time where you're going to enter it in twice is if you're changing the master code. So. Master to put to, to add user codes, you put the master code eight to tell it you want a program, and then the user, uh, user code slot number, and then the new user code. So we changed user code zero three to five 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 five. Now let's do it again so you'll get you know a better idea. We're going to make user code slot zero four six 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 six. So we'll type in our master code eight to program zero four six 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 so second user slot zero four is now six 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 going to do it one more time user code slot zero five we're going to type in our master code eight to program it zero five user slot seven 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 so now essentially we've changed the master code and added three user codes into the system. 5555, 6666, and 7777. Now um, let's say you want to uh, say you want to make 
you can change the authority authority levels of these codes and uh, the authority levels are 0 1 2 and 3 0 is this basically a standard user one will only allow the code to arm the system it will not disarm the system two is a guest babysitter code and uh, it, that would allow the user to arm the system but will render the user unable to disarm system unless guest babysitter code was used to arm the system basically and then three authority level three is your duress code say you the duress code is basically if you have someone uh, that's coming to your home and they want you to disarm the system you can use that duress code to disarm the system and if you have central station monitoring by using that duress code to disarm the system it will send a silent panic to central station monitoring service to then basically send the police um, now what we're going to do is i'm going to make user code 03 we're going to make that an arm only. Well, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. You enter in your master code. 4, 3, 2, 1, 8 to program, 0, 3, pound 1, and then 1 again for the authority level. So pound 1 tells it you're going to change the authority level, and then you enter 1 for the authority level of 1, which will only allow you to arm the system. Let's test that out. 4, well, not 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, if you mistype just let it sit for a second it will reset itself so user slot 03 is four digit code 5555 we're going to arm so now it's in arming now let's test the theory about the authority level let's try to disarm with that same code 5555 five, five. yeah as you notice it is not disarming the system so we'll do our master code and disarm so that worked now, user slot 04, we're going to set for the guest babysitter code. So we'll type in our master code, 4321804, pound one, two. And that is basically your guest babysitter code. Let's try it, 6666 away. 6666, disarm. So, it, it, see, as you saw, the guest babysitter code is it, you're allowed to arm the system and disarm the system. But say we use our master code, 4321 away, to arm the system. Let's go ahead and try that, uh, that uh, guest babysitter code to try to disarm. It will not let you do it. So, with a guest babysitter code, the only way that they are, are going to be able to arm and disarm the system is if they arm the system with their guest babysitter code first. If you arm with any other code that is the master or a standard user and then the guest babysitter code tries to disarm, they will be unable to do so. All right, now let's go ahead and set user slot 05 for the duress code. So we'll type four, three, two, one, eight, pound one, three. Oh, let it set for a second. If you mess up, just let it set for a second. I'll reset itself. Four, three, two, one, eight, zero, five, pound one, three. User slot zero five, four digit code seven, seven, seven is now set for duress code. So like I said, if you have some, a thief come into your home, wants you to disarm the system, you can use that duress code. And if you have central station monitoring and your panel calls out, um, it will send a silent burglary alarm to central station and they will then send the police. Um, now, since we went through changing the master code, adding user codes and setting the authority levels, I'm gonna show you one more thing and we're going to learn how to delete a user code. Um, this is, you know, this is good. If you have that list, you can see where your user codes are at. You can delete them out, change them. Um, to delete a user code, it's pretty simple. Like say we want to delete the user code out of slot 05. You'll enter in your master code, 43218, user slot 05, pound zero. Now that user code is gone. 
it was 7777, remember? So let's try to go ahead and arm the system with it. 7777, away. That user code is gone from the system. So to recap, to delete a user code, you type in your master code, 8, then the user slot, in this instance, is 05, and then you hit pound and zero, and that will delete the code out of that user slot. Pretty simple. Um, you know, you can find all this information in your user's guide, look through the table of contents and find uh, uh, adding and assigning user codes. And uh, that will basically take you through the steps that I've laid out here. Uh, now, that's all I have for this video. Back over to me in, in the tech room and uh, y'all have a good day. Thanks. Thanks, me. All right, we're back over here on the other side of the tech room. Um, Pretty easy to do on a Vista system with your user codes. Adding, deleting, changing, assigning authority levels. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions about it, like I said over there, your user's manual, um, you'll look in the table of contents, find adding and assigning user codes, uh, find the page number. Um, I would quote you a page number, but some of the manuals have different versions, you know, with different page numbers and whatnot. But just look for that. Um, if you have any questions on how to do this, call us at 888-811-0727. Choose option number two on the phone menu and our techs will be happy to help you out. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. We'll be back with another uh, very soon and I hope you all have a good day. This is John Burroughs with AlarmSystemStore.com.